Well, hello everybody! Welcome back to another video. This time we are back again at Resident Evil 4. And uh, you might be wondering how right now I'm getting 75 FPS with all these maximum settings without FSR on. Because as you remember, when we tested the Resident Evil 4 before at maximum settings with ray tracing and hair strand on high uh, to the max, uh, we got at this first part about uh, 50. 8 fps average which uh, was still uh, playable but uh, yeah it was not above 60 so uh, only fsr quality settings uh, made it possible to go above uh, 60 but uh, look at this guys look at this right here we are getting 69 70 fps and the uh, frame time graph is really smooth it's working really good the graphics look really good and uh, we don't drop below 60 here which is amazing right amazing huh uh, you know what it is guys you know uh, it's uh, some sort of a hack uh, we just found out uh, recently uh, by searching online and uh, i will show you in the description below what you must do but uh, let me quickly here uh, you know run through this house and uh, speed up the footage a little bit because uh, we need to get to the more demanding area later when they burn the police guy up uh, that's where the fps always dropped when i remembered back then uh, but yeah, uh, I had a really smooth experience actually playing uh, Resident Evil 4 Remake on Intel Arc A770. Uh, it was constantly 60 FPS above 60 FPS with uh, max settings. I did actually turn off ray tracing because uh, it's not that much of a difference in my opinion and there's a bit of a performance boost to gain. So uh, yeah. Uh, I finished it without any issues, I didn't even use uh, FSR actually and I got really good FPS playing this game. It took me about 16 hours to actually finish on hardcore but okay, anyways we are here, let's see if we get uh, FPS drops like before, oh yeah okay so I guess this uh, cut scene here or uh, scene that it's uh, burning this police guy, uh, it's really demanding and the uh, FPS dropped below. Uh, 40 even I saw for a second but uh, here we have once we are uh, gaming here around gameplay some kicking around shooting uh, we are still getting about 60 fps so uh, let me just get some more NPCs here you guys on me and see if actually the corpses will drop uh, my friend to less than 60 but uh, no it's actually holding up pretty well we are getting 60 fps average without massive drops to 40 and the graphics look really fine huh what do you say guys doesn't it look good huh i will probably die here but uh, no <laughs> So uh, you might be actually wondering how we are uh, doing this thing and uh, yeah, what we actually did is uh, download uh, Resident Evil 4 framework and uh, here we injected XCSS into the game with the help of an upscaler plugin that this offers and as you can see switching here from balance to performance and uh, to other presets it actually changes graphical settings and uh, improves FPS so uh, will you be giving this a try with your uh, gameplay on Intel Arc? Let me know down in the comments below if you think it uh, works good because I've seen some uh, graphical glitches. Even look here, balanced mode, it also dropped FPS to 45, 44, so uh, nothing we can do about the FPS drops here in this scene. But uh, yeah, try it out, let me know how it goes. And uh, I, I noticed uh, when I was aiming, the course, course hair was uh, a bit uh, glitched out, and uh, here and there you can see some. Uh, graphical bugs but uh, uh, when i was rushing through the game and playing quickly uh, you know what i haven't uh, seen any major graphical uh, if issues or flickers or missing textures by using this uh, upscaler so uh, yeah even some uh, at some places the image was more stable uh, than actually leaving it on off or using fsr so Give it a guys, give it a go guys and let me know. 
this will be a quick one so uh, make sure to like and subscribe and we will see you in the next one probably tomorrow or on monday have a great weekend guys and peace out enjoy resident evil 4